clue, actually. Morning. Morning. It's Thursday. It's the 7th of February. It's Thursday Thank already, you. actually. I didn't actually know what day or date it was. I was only talking to a couple of lads last night. I, uh, I, uh, like, all day yesterday, I was like, oh, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, weird. I, I've lost a day this week. Um, um, today is going to be very wet, though. That much I can tell you now. It's going to be very wet across all parts of the county later on today. We're expecting uh, very heavy showers, both into the afternoon. Not yesterday. It's going to be worse evening. than yesterday. I think on, on par, yeah. Oh, yeah. yesterday was awful. Uh, I came out of training last night, and I was chatting to one of the lads we were having to go, because, you know, when you're inside the gym, the gym is roasting. Yeah, like. yeah. So I came out in there, and the next week we were having the chat, and we opened the door of the gym, and I was like, oh, shit. Shit. I was still in shorts and t-shirt. I had no jumper or anything. I got drowned yeah. going to the car last night. So, yeah. anyway, that's my first world problem for you this morning. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Um, Good start. Right. Um, some of the front pages of our papers today. The Times Ireland edition on the front page has got a photograph of Leo Varadkar and Donald Tusk. And they were presenting a united front in Brussels yesterday. And uh, people are now reacting to uh, Donald Tusk's jibe about uh, there's a special place in hell for Brexiteers who went to the people and didn't tell them what would actually happen. Yeah, if Brexit did happen. Um, EU ready to snub May after hell jibe by Tusk is the headline in the Times Ireland edition today. I couldn't believe he said that. He was very thick when he, he said was it, wasn't very he? very thick, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's in the front page of the Times Ireland edition. Fake abortion website faces legal action is another headline in today's Times. Legal proceedings have been issued against the operator of this bogus website. Uh, it's posting, or it's posing as an official HSE site and um, giving women, apparently giving women advice about um, abortion. So that's in the front page of the Times Ireland edition. I'm kind of giggling to myself here with the photograph though. It's kind of like Leo Riker's almost kind of saying to Donald Tusk, oh man, I can't believe you yeah, said that. I wouldn't have said Did you that. actually just say that? Gone there. Um, uh, doesn't he, doesn't Donald Tusk look like um, Niles from Fraser? He does a little. Yeah. Actually, he looks he looks like Ni- what, what Niles would look like now. Yeah, and and, yeah. and it's almost like Donald's reaction to, to Leo is kind of like I did. Yeah, I went yeah. there. Totally <laughs> there. Uh, the Examiner this morning at the front page says EU is not making a new Brexit offer. May in Brussels, uh, amid outcry over two special place in hell jibe. Same story there. Uh, two deaths in ten days at the Midlands prison is another story in the front page. Suicide is suspected as a case uh, as the case. Case, sorry, as the cause of death in both instances, according to the front page there. And Fine Gael fears local election backlash over the health crisis. So the current health crisis we're with the nurses on strike again today, GPs protesting yesterday, this National Children's Hospital. Fine Gael reckon that will come at local election time, which will be May, April, May sometime. May, yeah. Uh, that they reckon uh, they will get a bit of backlash on the doorsteps and so on, which could very well happen. That's on the front page there this morning. And Man City are in the sports section because they're back on top of the Premier League. Ah, oh, poor Liverpool. <laughs> oh. On goal difference? Yeah. Okay. So and Liverpool have a game in hand? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. Um, Irish Daily Mail front page today. Very sad story. We talked about it earlier this week. Uh, the death of 37-year-old model Ali MacDonald, who was a mother of four. She was uh, somebody who uh, appeared quite regularly on television. She was a spokesperson for autism issues. Um, a sick internet scam. Profits from models' tragic death is the headline in the Irish Daily Mail today. Uh, so somebody masqueraded as a close friend of Ali's to try to raise money um, for her funeral costs. And what a scumbag. They didn't know her at all, I don't think. So, uh, very sad story. Also on the front page of the Irish Daily Mail, following on from the news earlier this week about how many of our eight-year-olds have uh, smart devices and how many of them actually speak to strangers every day. Uh, well, parents should ban smartphones and tablets from both the dinner table and from their own bedrooms, uh, according to the UK's top health official. Um, and obviously, that bo- they both make sense. Although yeah, yeah. My daughter does play Minecraft sometimes in her room. But anyway, uh, yeah, you need to get strict. I need to get str- I'm fairly good. Like, I've got controls on her tablet. Like, she can only have Minecraft or YouTube Kids. Mm-hmm. But they're sly, those little kids. Yeah, well, what's going to happen now is, I was just going to say, they will find a way around it. Of course they will, yeah. yeah. That will happen. Uh, change your password regularly, I would say. I would we've got a parental agree. control lock on it, you know, but I think she might have figured out what my password is, so... Yeah, and then of course there'll be that one day where you're really busy, and she'll go, "Mom, what's the password?" And you go, "Oh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then it's like, Andrew's you know. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> creepy. The, the Irish Independent this morning says, uh, "Creepy." Uh, Harris had two chances to get grip on hospital fiasco. The cost of it, anyway. This is the Children's Hospital, which we, as we mentioned a couple of times in this video, is now up and around the two billion mark. They reckon, or could reach the two billion mark. And um, Operation Transformation last night, and this is also the top trend in Ireland this morning. The story's in The Independent. Leo Radker, our Taoiseach, is 40 years of age, but he was on Operation Transformation last night. I think they, I didn't watch it, so I, I assume they did some sort of medical assessment on him. And they told him that he has the fitness level of a 
53 year old what so I thought he, Leo was fit I so, he runs and stuff so did I yeah so um, yeah he got uh, and then somebody tweeted last night they said that's what you get for getting up early poor oh ooh, we're, yeah, we're, so we're screwed, screwed. <laughs> but uh, yeah so apparently he's got the the well, well, I need to get the correct term now. Met- metabolic, metabolic, yeah, metabolic, metabolic, yeah, metabolic. Um, so that's his fitness level is of a fifty-three-year-old, and he's only forty. So, and I, I agree. I thought, Jesus, the man's always out running and jogging. Yeah, so maybe not lately. Maybe, maybe his, his maybe job not, yeah. probably means he doesn't have a lot of time for running and jogging. Oh, we get loads of smart comments about he has loads of time. He doesn't. Uh, it is very hard to exercise if you have a job like that's that. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When well, you're in constant meetings and you're constantly doing this and doing yeah. that and the other. Like, no, people can argue all they like whether he's doing a good job or not, but you can't, you can't say. Oh sure he does nothing yeah. well, in fairness he does uh, yeah a few kind of crunches and planks at home watching the telly at night side plank while watching Operation Transformation oh god depressing um, right so that's one of the top trends Operation yeah. Transformation and Leo's appearance on it but also Paul one of the leaders on Operation Transformation who had viewers in tears he broke his uh, target again it's very emotional that program oh, I watched last week's episode as did I yeah and um, the girl was the anniversary of the death of her baby. It oh, was desperate, sad. Poor girl, isn't mm. it? It's tough enough to be going through something like that anyway. But then to put this operation track. Now, obviously, like she chose to do it. Maybe she needs a focus and she mm. needs to think about other things. But um, yeah, it's very, very moving, isn't it? it is, no, it is. Yeah, you it's know, a good show, I think. You know, the th- there's only one negative in this. And I told mm. you this last week. Your man, I just can't take to him. Who? The personal trainer fella what's oh, his name again oh yeah Carl uh, Carl I just can't take to him You've I'm nothing against him I just a bit of a thing about Carl I just there's just something really fake about him or something I don't know what it is anyway I, I, oh, I think he doesn't you know. look like a personal trainer do you think do so do you think that about it yeah I don't know yeah, well, looks like she'd be in a suit anyone who work. doesn't eat donuts you can't trust them yeah I wouldn't trust someone who doesn't eat like donuts uh, Boris Johnson is trending this morning apparently I'm not entirely sure what this was or when this was but he received nearly 60,000 euro to appear at a summit in Dublin so nice he's trending this morning Great. 60 grand Great work if you can get it lads uh, the Sigerson Cup is trending as well so we now know the semi-final lineups. it's UCD versus St Mary's Belfast and UCC versus NUI Galway and then El Clasico El Clasico so uh, yeah Barcelona and Madrid uh, drew one all last night so that's trending too and people talking about that I saw some stat this morning I, again I could be wrong on this so correct me if I am wrong but I think Serg- wrong. Sergio Ramos the Real Madrid captain uh, broke a new record last night for wait can I guess most, most yellow or red yeah, cards yeah, yeah. Mo- yeah most bookings in, yeah. in a derby or Jesus whatever it is rough <laughs> would you have him in your team yes I would <laughs> would you go for a drink with the guy absolutely not He's a total no. He's cute, actually, though, as well. Just on a really shallow, superficial Sorry, level. Sorry, there. Just wait until you can't do that. Sorry, he's... You can't objectify him. He's horrible. Like he's ugly. Okay. Oh, no, you can't do that either. Oh, what can I say? Okay. He's a decent, talented footballer. He's fine coat of lead. Sorry, we had okay? to have that That's out okay. there. Uh, right, we're going to talk about um, weddings and bridesmaids, and this is going to be your life now for yeah, a couple it al- years. Yeah, it already is my life. I'm only engaged can't... 10 days. I can't imagine that um, you and Uno will be the types to get stressed about wedding. You're both chilled, right? I think of the two of us, I'll probably get more stressed yeah. than she would. I think Uno's so, yeah. pretty chilled. Yeah. I don't think she'll care if this happens. But a <laughs> wedding guest has been left baffled after she was asked to be a bridesmaid by a woman who hasn't spoken to her in years. I think this is weird. And I can actually give you an example of someone that we know, can't name them now. Because oh I'll get Whisper in trouble. Uh, I'll tell you afterwards. But basically, um, there's a person I know who's been invited to a wedding, and the bride and herself worked together. Okay. But they don't haven't worked together for a long time. Okay. And she's even been been invited on the hen party and everything. It's kind of like I haven't seen you in I don't know. It's kind of weird. And they weren't really good friends to begin no, with. No, they, they were just work, you know, acquaintances. Maybe work friends, maybe you can say, but outside of work life, they wouldn't particularly have been like, hey, girl, how are you? Not too bad, girl. You're going to go for coffee. That kind of crack. That didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's kind of weird, I thought, but there you go. So I this whole thing about being invited, being asked to be, to be a, bridesmaid a bridesmaid after not talking well, to the person for years. That could be next for your friend. That could be the next step in all this. It could be. It's creepy, isn't it? It is kind of um, creepy. There was another story in the paper as well yesterday about um, a mother-in-law. So a mother of the groom mm-hmm. was keeping her outfit secret from the bride and it turned out the reason she was is because it was white why like like I'm sorry but I don't care who you are no, what your relationship lousy. is with your son or your daughter or your daughter-in-law or whatever like everybody knows that the bride is going to wear white so why, yeah. why risk it why yeah. kind of go I'm going to wear white as well I'm going to go to a wedding wearing white why yeah I don't get it either I have been at weddings and I'm like why would I just wouldn't have worn it like no. oh that's stupid yeah. so anyway um, that's 
something people are talking about online. Yeah. Uh, the Poundland engagement rings. So we had... Um, who were the first lads doing them? Yeah, oh, sorry. Pound, Poundland are deals. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. okay. They're, they're the UK. Oh, they're, thought... they're, they're the big bosses in the UK, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, the engagement rings have been snapped up by Brits across the country. Um, they sold 20,000 of them. These 150 engagement, one euro 50. They're probably a pound, were they? Uh, engagement rings in uh, yeah. Poundland and deals. So 20,000 people have been proposed to with Poundland rings. Yeah. Now, I, d- I, did, I did hear a story of a guy last week who bought one of these 150 rings, proposed to his girlfriend, and now they're gone to pick out the, ar- the, the actual the ring which ring. is fine but uh, cool. yeah I can say, I'd can say some fellas are going to go ah that lure Should Valentine's Day I'm going to get one for myself ok yeah, we're we going we're live on air in a minute and uh, we hope you have a great Thursday keep in touch with us here or you can chat to us uh, on 083 300 3300 morning good morning. luck, good luck.